Hi, Mike from the Royal Montana family. We're working out in the Big Sky Garage again. It's already the end of November. It's a little cool in the Big Sky Garage. And the weather is uh, not too nice, but almost too warm for the season. But anyway, today we are going to install these TPMS sensors into those four rims. And then those four rims will get winter tires put on and they will be put on this car eventually. So as winter season is common, we decided to go with 19 inch wheels instead of the 21s that are on our Model S right now. And so we purchased four refurbished rims and we got these sensors, TPMS sensors from eBay. We ordered those off eBay and uh, they matched the Conti system that we installed into our Tesla Model S. And if you haven't seen the video yet, uh, there will be a link popping up at the top of the screen. If it doesn't pop up, look down below in the description and you can go watch. It's a two part video series of how to figure out what you need to do, what parts you need and how to install uh, the upgraded system into a, a classic Model S between 2012 and mid 2014. But today we'll deal with the TPMS sensors only. Let's go. So to install, you need a torque wrench. TPMS sensors do have a certain torque and that torque value can be found in the service manual from the manufacturer of the car. In this case for the Model S, it is eight Newton meter. And we have this small torque wrench here that is actually only in inch pounds. I don't know if you can see that. And eight Newton meters uh, are 70.8 inch pounds. So I did set this one to 71 inch pounds. So these are the sensors and they're specific for the make and model of your car. In our case, uh, if you actually put our specifications in as a 2013 Tesla Model S, it will give you a different sensor because originally it came equipped with a bow long system, but we upgraded it to the Continental system, which is the current system that Tesla is uh, still using. So these are basically the same sensors uh, at this point in all the Teslas. So got to take this apart there's multiple pieces yeah, come on if I can get it there we go get these off and so we can see here is this plastic ring and this aluminum metal this aluminum ring and we got another little plastic seal here at the bottom and other than that, here we got our valve cap. And you can see inside there is that valve insert. So now uh, we'll leave this off. We got to push this through the hole in the rim. So right there, you get to see the hole. And obviously it doesn't go this way. So we turn, we'll bring it out, put it in like this. Okay, and then we need to add the other seal and other components from the other side. So here, this is the other side. We got to put the plastic ring down, a little aluminum washer over it, and then this nut. All right, and we're pressing up from the bottom up. 
and then start tightening. There we go. That is eight Newton meters right there. And now this is tied in here. And we can see it from this side. So it's tight against the rim right there. It sucked this part up into the hole right there. And that's how this looks like. And that's as simple as that. Now we gotta repeat that three more times. So there we go, they all got their TPMS on it now and uh, they're all torqued to the 8 Newton meters. So now we'll load them up in the car and then we get tires put on and put them on the car and we're ready to go for snow. 
So yeah, installing TPMS sensors is really not hard at all if there's no tire on it. If you need to replace a sensor while you have uh, a tire on it, that's a different story because then you actually have to press the tire off in order to get in there and replace the sensor. But in this case, this was super easy since these are refurbished trims and no tire is on it at all at this point. In any event, thank you for watching. Please give us a thumbs up for this video. And if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the other videos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.